Hello, hi, and welcome to today's Health Check. On this channel, we talk in very simple language uh, about everything to do with the human body. So if you like this channel, then please uh, subscribe and recommend to your friends and family. In this season, we are talking about the digestive system. We also know it, know it as a gut or gastrointestinal tract. So uh, keep watching our next um, 40, 50 video. They'll all be about the gastrointestinal tract, how it works, and what happens when disease affects our digestive system. Thank you for watching. In the first video, we are going to talk about the anatomy of the gastrointestinal tract. We all eat lovely, delicious food one day, and it comes out of the other end totally unrecognizable the way it looked when it went in. This amazing, without this amazing system that we have in our body, what we call the gastrointestinal tract or the digestive system, none of these lovely food could be used for energy development, weight gain, strength, muscles, etc., etc. So to understand the anatomy of the gastrointestinal system, we are going to divide it into four parts. The top part of the gastrointestinal tract starts from the mouth, goes to the back of the throat, then goes down the neck as the gullet or the esophagus or the food pipe, which goes into the tummy and becomes like a big bag-like structure called the stomach. Okay, let's label this to make it a bit more clearer. So the top part is our mouth. Let's label this. Uh, so that's our mouth, which is too slow I'm with the system. Then comes the throat. Then is the esophagus. And followed by the stomach. Now, to clarify which bit of this anatomy is in our neck, which bit is in our chest and which bit is in our tummy, we're going to draw a little line. So, above this line, Everything is in the neck. Between the two lines is in the chest and below the second line is in the abdomen or the tummy. Okay, the second part of the gastrointestinal tract is uh, what is we call the small intestine. So we're starting from the stomach and from the stomach starts the first part of the small intestine what is called the duodenum and it's a c-shaped structure not very long maybe about a foot long then the second part of the small intestine which is called the jejunum and followed by the last part of the small intestine which is called the ileum or the ileum now all in all this is about 20 feet long give or take a foot or two and perhaps the most important part of the digestive system. This comes the third part of our digestive system, what we call the large bowel or the colon. So we start from the small end of the small intestine or the ileum and from there comes the right side of the colon. That goes up under our right side of the ribcage, goes across our tummy and comes under the left side of the ribcage, then goes around, lower down onto the left lower side of our tummy, around the hip joint and then come down and joins the rectum, which is basically the bottom end and the bottom end exits out of the, out of, 
our body with the anus or the anal canal. Okay, okay, the fourth part that we are going to talk about are the two organs in our body which are intimately uh, related to our gut. One is the liver and one is the pancreas. Let's draw the liver first. So we have got the stomach, then the C-shaped duodenum. And just next to it on the right side, tucked under the right side of the rib cage, is our biggest organ in the body called the liver. Let's draw this. It's basically shaped like a triangle. Very heavy structure. Now in the C of the duodenum is a leaf shaped structure. Um, feels like a very mushy sort of an organ. It's called the pancreas. I'm sure you've heard of diabetes, etc. So there is the pancreas. Let's shade it a little bit so you can see it a bit more clearly. And a few more little bits and bobs into it. Let's draw something so you can see it a bit more clearly. Otherwise, the photo is very bland. Okay, so that takes care of the pancreas. Now the liver has two parts. Let's draw a line in the middle of it. Left part and the right lobe. So left lobe and the right lobe. Left lobe is much smaller than the right lobe. From each lobe comes out a little tube or a duct. The two of them join together like a Y. And from the side of this Y sticks out a little outshoot of a little tube and to which is connected a sac-like structure called the gallbladder. I'm sure you've all heard of gallstones. This is the structure in which gallstones happen. Now from that, the tube comes further down as a single tube and it joins the straight part of the C of the duodenum. There it comes down, let's draw it down, comes and joins what we call the second part of the duodenum or the straight limb of the C of the duodenum. A second tube opens this part again, which is the tube of the pancreas or the pancreatic duct. Now let's draw that. So it joins in the same spot in the duodenum and both of them open together. And that structure is called the common bile duct. So that is how our gut looks like, what it, um, what it does and how it works is the topic of our second video. So please subscribe and I'll see you in a day or two with the second part of this video, how the gastrointestinal tract works. Thanks for watching.